Welcome to CAD Concepts. We will explore 15 Lisp area automation. We will explore different different method to find out area fully automatic using Lisp routines in AutoCAD. So, without wasting time, let's begin. Number 1. Area to table. We'll take this plan P line, okay. Let this here. Now, I want to take out area in table for this P lines, okay. Type AT, starting number 1. Click over the point to get your table and click repeatedly inside close P line. This is okay. Hit enter. You are getting table with serial numbers and area. Just by clicking over the P line, you can simply extract your area statement in table. Same as it is, let this AF. Select output folder, click inside. We want to take it out. Text field as a notepad, hit enter. You are getting area table in notepad with serial number. So, this list routine will help you to find out area for any close P line into table. VLX. Number 2. Dynamic area. This P line we have. We will take it out. Dynamic area check out. Okay. Let this D Y N A R E A. And randomly by dragging over the P line. You can check out area and perimeter both in one time. Just by dragging inside close P line. You can check out both area and perimeter. Means if you have multiple P line, you want to randomly cross check. This is the perfect way to check out both in one time using this VLX file. Number 3 Area Excel. Let this here PK area command. Excel sheet will automatically open. Okay. Nothing you have to do. Just let this here. Click inside P line. You will click here. Area will add in Excel sheet. So, this will give you serial numbers, area, both in Excel sheet. Just from clicking inside AutoCAD P line. And you can simply save this Excel file. Number 4. Multi unit area. Let this here. We'll take multiple unit area. The short key ACL. What you do? Provide decimal digit 1 only. Select all the P line and click here to get your multiple unit area in square meter, square feet, acre, sector, cents, kilometer. Means you are getting multiple unit area in one time for selected P line in just one time. Number 5 Multi unit area and let this here double the area command. Click over the P line architectural scale, decimal scale, metric scale. You are getting multiple unit in one time just by clicking over the P line. Same let this here also. You will click any P line. The pop up will come something like this, including architectural scale, decimal scale, and metric scale. Number six area division. We will divide this P line, okay? ADIV command. Select your P line and let this point where you want to. Take new division as a rectangle here. Now you see here, you are getting separate rectangle. Let this one. 
you want horizontal or vertical go like this same here also and go like this your pinpoint you can simply divide as a separate rectangle here also and go like this number seven p line area text scale we will take here okay let the car command click inside then click again to get your text okay and go randomly like this means you can choose your text scale click inside click again and choose your text scale by dynamic movement click inside and place here click inside place here means you can choose your text positioning including text scale both in one time number 8 p line area text how we can take it out p line area text let the simply p a command click over the p line you will get particular p line area same here also as much as you want you can simply click over the p line and you will get area something like this same as it is let this p l o select your p line click inside enter text height you have option to choose your text height p l o select your p line click inside choose scale select your p line click inside and choose scaling means you can simply choose scale and pinpoint for your area in text number 9 p line area perimeter let this f a command click over the p line and take your leader point area and perimeter both you are getting in one time click over the p line and take your leader point same here also and same here also this way you can simply place your area and perimeter including leader point number 10 area perimeter type arpl click over the p line and click here both area and perimeter you are getting in one time click over the p line and click here click over the p line click here means you are getting randomly area and perimeter both in one time for any close p line as you see here number 11 h area we will take area for particular hash pattern h a r command select your hash enter and click here to get your area in square meter select again click here same again click here means as much as hashes you have you want to find out particular hash area in square meter this is a perfect way to find out you want all select all and click here number 12 area meter to feet the short key m to f okay this area in square meter we have m to f command click over the square meter area and click here means you do not you don't require any conversion click over the square meter area and click here to get your square feet click here and get here means you can automate your area conversion from square meter to square feet click here and click here as you see here in just one time you are getting your square meter to square feet number 13 area meter and feet let this here amf what you do click over the p line 
and click here. You are getting area in square meter and area in square feet, both in one time. Click over the P line and click here. Click over the P line and click here. Same as it is, click over the P line and click here. Number 14, area conversion. Let this here, C and V command. Click over the text. Now provide your existing unit. As we know, this is square meter type M. This is okay. Now provide your output unit. We want meter to feet, right? And click here. So from me from square meter to square feet, we are getting in one time. Same as it is, click over the text. Provide current unit square meter m we want in mm so you are getting square meter to square mm same as it is this one also click over the text provide current unit square meter let this m only we want in square feet let this f and click here same as it is here also click over the square feet let this square feet conversion okay so current unit square feet let this ft we want into meter click here as you see here we have revise means we are getting same as it is let this current unit square feet and output unit meter and click here 5.88 as previous means you have multiple option for conversion what you do first you have to choose your current unit okay after that you have to choose your result unit. You will get square centimeter, square mm, square feet, square meter. Number 15, P line area, feet and meter. Let's see here, P L A R command. Select all the P line, enter and click here. Means, you are getting each P line separate separate area and square meter, area and square feet, and total also means in just one time you can simply extract in length. I hope you got this video helpful. Must explore 200 plus advanced automation task. This book will explain with facts and figure along with Lisp and VLX files. You can also explore advanced automation task comprehensive course. You can find the link in description. If you wish to support CAD concepts, you are great welcome to join membership. Definitely, your support is the reason CAD concepts exist. Thank you so much for joining membership. Yes, if you have any interesting idea, any list that you wish to explore with CAD concepts, definitely. You can mention in comment box. If you have anywhere any doubt, must leave your comment. As soon as possible, I will reply your query. Thanks for watching. See you in next video with another topic.